Stephen Laurel Twitch Boss was an American freestyle hip-hop dancer, choreographer, actor, television producer, and television personality. In 2008, he finished in second place on the American version of So You Think You Can Dance, Psytikt. From 2014 to May 2022, he was featured on the Ellen DeGeneres Show as a repeated guest host, and he was also a co-executive producer of the program. He was featured in Ellen's Game of Games as a sidekick to DeGeneres. Kirsty Louise Alley was an American actress. Her breakthrough role was as Rebecca Howe in the NBC sitcom Cheers, for which she received an Emmy Award and a Golden Globe in 1991. From 1997 to 2000, she starred as the lead in the sitcom Veronica's Closet, earning additional Emmy and Golden Globe nominations. On film, she played Molly Jensen in Look Who's Talking and its two sequels, Look Who's Talking To and Look Who's Talking Now. Christine Ann McVie was an English musician and singer. She was the keyboardist and one of the vocalists and songwriters of Fleetwood Mac. McVie was a member of several bands, notably Chicken Shack, in the mid-1960s British blues scene. She initially began working with Fleetwood Mac as a session player in 1968, before officially joining the band two years later. Her first compositions with Fleetwood Mac appeared on their fifth album, Future Games. Aaron Charles Carter was an American singer and rapper. He came to fame as a teen pop singer in the late 1990s, establishing himself as a star among preteen and teenage audiences during the first years of the 21st century with his four studio albums. Carter began performing at age seven after the formation of his brother Nick's group, The Backstreet Boys, and released his self-titled debut album in 1997 at age nine, selling a million copies worldwide. Kersnick Kari Ball, known professionally as Takeoff, was an American rapper. He was best known as the youngest member of the hip-hop group Migos, along with his uncle Quavo and close affiliate Offset. The group scored multiple top 10 hits on the Billboard Hot 100, including Motorsport, featuring Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, Stir Fry, Walk It Talk It, featuring Drake, and Bad and Bougie, featuring Lil Uzi Vert, the last of which peaked at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Anthony Robert McMillan, OBE, known professionally as Robbie Coltrane, was a Scottish actor and comedian. He gained worldwide recognition in the 2000s for playing Rubius Hagrid in the Harry Potter film series. He was appointed an OBE in the 2006 New Year Honours by Queen Elizabeth II for his services to drama. In 1990, Coltrane received the Evening Standard British Film Award, Peter Sellers Award for Comedy. Elizabeth II was Queen of the United Kingdom and other Commonwealth realms from the 6th of February 1952 until her death in 2022. She was Queen Regnant of 32 sovereign states over the course of her lifetime and remained the monarch of 15 realms by the time of her death. Her reign of over 70 years is the longest of any British monarch, the longest of any female monarch, and the second longest verified reign of any monarch of a sovereign state in history. Artist Leon Ivey Jr., known by his stage name Coolio, was an American rapper and chef. He was best known for his single, Gangster's Paradise, which won a Grammy Award and was credited for changing the course of hip hop by bringing it to a wider audience. Other singles included Fantastic Voyage, one, two, three, four, Sumpin New, and See You When You Get There. He released nine albums, the first three of which achieved mainstream success. It Takes a Thief, Gangster's Paradise, and My Soul. Anne Celeste Hecher was an American actress,
known for her roles across a variety of genres in film, television, and theater. She was the recipient of Daytime Emmy, National Board of Review, and GLAAD Media Awards, in addition to nominations for a Tony Award and a Primetime Emmy. Hetcher began her professional acting career on the NBC soap opera Another World, earning a Daytime Emmy Award for her portrayal of twins Vicki Hudson and Marley Love. Dame Olivia Newton-John, ACDBE, was a British and Australian singer, songwriter and actress. She was a four-time Grammy Award winner whose music career included 15 top 10 singles, including five number one singles on the Billboard Hot, 102 number one albums on the Billboard 200. If you love me, let me know, and have you never been mellow? 11 of her singles and 14 of her albums have been certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America. Paul Anthony Sorvino was an American actor. He often portrayed authority figures on both the criminal and the law enforcement sides of the law. Sorvino was particularly known for his roles as Lucchese crime family cap regime Paulie Cicero, based on real-life gangster Paul Vario, in Martin Scorsese's 1990 gangster film Goodfellas, and as NYPD Sergeant Phil Serretta on the second and third seasons of the TV series Law and Order. Ivana Marie Trump was a Czech-American businesswoman, socialite, and model. She lived in Canada in the 1970s, before relocating to the United States and marrying Donald Trump in 1977. She held key managerial positions in the Trump Organization as Vice President of Interior Design, as CEO and President of Trump's Castle Casino Resort, and as Manager of the Plaza Hotel. Raymond Allen Liotta was an American actor. He first gained attention for his role in the film Something Wild, which earned him a Golden Globe Award nomination. He was best known for his portrayals of Shoeless Joe Jackson in the film Field of Dreams and Henry Hill in the film Goodfellas. Liotta appeared in numerous other films, including Unlawful Entry, Copland, Hannibal, Blow, John Q, Identity, Killing Them Softly, The Place Beyond the Pines, and Marriage Story. Naomi Judd was an American country music singer and actress. In 1980, she and her daughter Winona formed the duo known as the Judds, which became a very successful country music act, winning five Grammy Awards and nine Country Music Association Awards. The Judds ceased performing in 1991 after Naomi was diagnosed with hepatitis. While Winona continued to perform as a solo artist, she occasionally reunited with her mother for tours as the Judds. Oliver Taylor Hawkins was an American musician who was best known as the drummer of the rock band Foo Fighters. Joining the band in 1997, Hawkins quickly became one of the group's most recognizable faces. He remained the Foo Fighters drummer for over 25 years until his sudden death in 2022. He recorded eight studio albums with the band between 1999 and 2021. Sidney Poitier KBE was a Bahamian and American actor, film director, and diplomat. In 1964, he was the first black actor and first Bahamian to win the Academy Award for Best Actor. He received two competitive Golden Globe Awards, a BAFTA Award, and a Grammy Award, as well as nominations for two Emmy Awards and a Tony Award. In 1999, he ranked among one of the American Film Institute's 100 stars. Poitier was one of the last surviving stars from the golden age of Hollywood cinema. Joan Maxine Kupchik, known professionally as Joan Copeland, was an American actress. She was the younger sister of playwright Arthur Miller. She began her career during the mid-1940s, appearing in theater in New York City, where shortly thereafter, she would become one of the first members admitted to the newly formed Actors Studio. 
She moved into television and film during the 1950s while still maintaining an active stage career.